If you've been following along in the last few lessons, you know just how easy it is to open an existing Excel file, even if that file was created in an older version of Excel. And we can even import files that were created in other applications and saved to other formats. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the exact opposite. That is saving our work. Not just saving our work as we work on the file, but saving to other formats as well. Some people might call that exporting your work. So you can see I've already got my file open here from the previous lesson, ECP Expenses 1.xlsx. If you've got the exercise files, go to the Lesson 2 folder to find this one. This is a brand new file format. That's the extension that we see now in version 2008. It's got XML technology built into it. That's why the extra X on the end. So now we want to save our work. Now, one thing that might happen is as you're working on your file, you want to save as you go. For example, I'm going to go over here to the date where it says November 11th, 2007. I'm going to change that to March 11th, 2008. So I just click and type and I'll hit return to lock that in. So I've made a change and if I want to update my file, because anything can happen, right? The power can go out, you could kick the plug, anything could happen and you could lose your work if you don't save on a regular basis. So clicking the save button up here, the equivalent to doing a command S on your keyboard will update your changes. There. If the power goes out, I haven't lost my work. Now what if you want to give it a different name, save to a different location or even save to another format to share with someone else? That's a little bit different. In that case, we use the Save As dialog box. So we go up to File and choose Save As. Now the Save As dialog box will also appear the very first time you save a file. So if you've started a brand new spreadsheet from scratch and you start entering data and you hit that Save button on the toolbar, it actually opens up the Save As dialog box. So now we're going to look at saving under a different name. So instead of ECP Expenses 1, which is already highlighted for me, that's nice. I just have to type over that. I'm going to type in Expense Report, just like that. And I'm going to change the location to my desktop. So I'm going to click Desktop here. And you can see that the format I'm going to be saving to is the brand new Excel 2008 for Mac format here, XLSX. Now, if I wanted to save this to an older format because I was going to be sharing it with someone who hasn't upgraded yet, or maybe they don't have Excel, I would click this Format drop-down, and you'll notice I've got a Common Format section here, which includes older versions of Excel, even to Templates. We'll talk about saving your templates later on in this title. There's a common one, Comma Separated Value, CSV. We saw how easy it was to import that. Well, it's very easy to save to it as well. We can save as a web page, even a PDF portable document format using some of these common formats. Now there are some specialty formats down below. So as I scroll down, look at them all. There are some CSVs in here as well, but MS-DOS and Windows comma separated values. I've got some other Excel options in here, including binary workbooks and macro-enabled workbooks and so on. Look at all of these. Tab delimited text. That's a very popular one as well. If you don't know what the other person's using and you want to save to a format that's very generic and allowing them to get the data in. Now with text formats and CSV formats, you're going to lose a lot of the formatting and the graphics and things that make your spreadsheet look good. But if it's the data that's important, these are great. So I'm going to go down to Windows, comma, separated value right here. Give that a click. And just before we actually save this by clicking the Save button, look at the extension. It's changed. I want to bring up something that's kind of cool and new to Microsoft Excel 2008, the Compatibility Report. Now you can access the compatibility report at any time by going up to your toolbox and clicking on the wrench up here. But you can also access it as you save right from this dialog box. So I'm going to click compatibility report. You can see it actually opens up over here. It's kind of faded because we're in the middle of an operation. And you can see there's only one thing showing up and that would deal with saving to an older version of Excel. So I can view that right here. Do I want to continue saving or click OK, which takes me back to my file where I might make some changes. But I'm going to continue saving. It takes me right back to my Save As dialog box. And now I can click the Save button to actually save it to the new location with the new name and the new format. Now if I click on my desktop over here, you can see I've got my new CSV file sitting there ready to send to someone via email or copy it to a disk, whatever the case may be. We'll talk about sharing your work with others a little bit later on in this title as well.
So I'm going to click back in my spreadsheet here in Microsoft Excel, look at my compatibility report. If I click on this, I'll get the explanation down below. And if that doesn't apply, no problem. I click ignore. It's gone. And now I can recheck the document if I want to, but there are no other issues found. And you can see that I can check compatibility with previous versions on the Mac and Windows if I wanted to, just by selecting it here. And there are no issues. So I'm not saving to those formats anyway, but if you had to, keep in mind you've got this compatibility report. Very handy. So that covers saving and save as, even exporting, although we get all of our formats right from the save as dialog box.